Hey everyone, I'm Lego Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you stop by because you love seeing what people are picking up doing a Timu haul, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. Okay, so first off, this is not sponsored. I use my own money. I got a really good uh, coupon code. I installed the app, so I got a 50% off coupon. I ended up spending $28.44 before tax. Tax was $2.89. I don't know, something will float on screen. Basically, I spent about $30, but got like $50 worth of products. So, I did get 17 items, half are makeup, because I was very curious. Um, I tried to pick up enough to do a full face of makeup, I don't think I got a concealer. I don't know. We'll find out. And then the other stuff are just random. If you've seen Timu, they have everything, including like the kitchen sink. So there's some household products, some kitchen products, some accessories, just randomness. Now, I am impressed so far. Their app is super easy to shop on. Now, granted, I never shop on my phone. So it's kind of the first time, but I, I am picky <laughs> when it comes to usability of apps, and I found it extremely easy to use. Almost kind of addictive. The shipping I found to be extremely fast because I'm speculating that this is a Chinese company and that they ship from overseas. Maybe not. Maybe they have distribution centers in Canada or the U.S., but I placed this order on Wednesday, February 8th, and I received it today, Wednesday, February 15th. So it was ordered, shipped, and arrived within one week. So, so far, I am impressed. Now, this package, to you may seem big. It is kind of big, but when I pull out one item that I actually do remember ordering, which was a four or five piece accessory, um, I honestly thought this would be a lot bigger, but let's stop rambling, stop speculating, and dive in and see what I got. It's funny, my husband was like, why didn't that come in a box? It didn't even occur to me, but he's got a good point. It does not feel like when my Shop Miss A order comes, that's all like encased in air. So let's see if anything broke or if it's well packaged. All right, I have everything out in front of me. I actually ran downstairs, wrote down all the prices, so as I hold them up, I can tell you how much everything cost. I already made one mistake. I did not have a 50% off coupon. What I had was a $25 coupon, and I only spent like 50 bucks, so to me that was a 50% off because I basically got 50% off. But it was a $25 coupon for signing up for their app. All right, first item is this guy here. It was the most expensive. It's the one that concerns me that they sent me the wrong color. And it's the product that surprised me. I thought it would be bigger. Let me take it out of the crinkly plastic and tell you what it is. Oh, okay, so I thought it was brown. This is just like a protective little bag, okay. So, I got myself a, what they advertise as a tote. It is looking a lot smaller than what the picture indicated, but this has four bags. So, inside this bag, by the way, which looks like that, it has no, no side pockets whatsoever. It feels like pleather kind of, I don't even know if it's, it feels a little thick, um, definitely like a fake bag, like a bag you would find at, do you remember um, Payless Shoe Source used to sell bags that kind of remind me sometimes TJ Maxx, um, but I was actually after one of these smaller bags. I was on the hunt for just a small little crossbody and I was shopping on Amazon and I found one that was like $20. So when I saw this four piece bag set for $16.19, I was like, ooh, let's give it a try. And remember, I got a $25 off coupon. So to me, it was like half off. 
All right, so here is the crossbody. Neither of these two bags so far have any pockets inside. It's literally just almost like a makeup bag where it's just pouch with a zipper. It does come with a handle that already has some, I don't know if it'll pick up, some strings or loose kind of fibers. Can you guys even see that? Right there. Here is a little kind of wrist type of a bag. Zipper, one little pouch. I wonder if you could somehow get eyeglasses or sunglasses in here. And then what on the picture looked like a real wallet. This literally is just little plastic things for like cards and it's like a thin, yeah. So not what the picture kind of advertised. If I can get fancy and get a picture off my phone and put it on my computer, something will float on screen. Now let me know, do you think these items that I have in my hand were well represented by the photo? All right, this product, no clue, it's in a box. What is this? Oh yes, this is the product I was most excited about, which only costs a whopping $1.49. You're like, what is it? Okay, so it is an acrylic little dispenser where you can put Q-tips. Put the Q-tips in here, and then you take them out there. I am always using Q-tips. It's acrylic. It's pretty cheap. It is what it is, but it was $1.49, so I'm not mad. And if it breaks, oh well. I then picked up this two-pack of sink um, drain strainers. I don't know what happened to the one, if I ever had one in my sink, but I'm constantly... Not to get gross, like getting food <laughs> in my sink drain. So these were, the pair was $2.09. I hope this is a standard size that will fit. I could put one side where my disposal is and one where my sink is. It was something I really needed, but not so bad where I would go out to a store to hunt it down. So when I saw it, I'm like, yes, $2.09 in my cart. Another thing I've been wanting for, Quite a while. It's white. I'm not sure. Let me take it out of the packaging. This was a dollar forty-eight, and it's just a kind of spongy brush on a handle that will hopefully help me clean my coffee cups. I guess if you had a bottle, it would help. But I have these tall kind of to-go coffee cups, and um, they're a pain to clean because my fat hand won't get into them. Um, so yes, this will let me clean them out quickly. I then picked up this 10 pack of sponges for a whopping $1.79. They're the type of sponges that on one end have a little bit of uh, that kind of exfoliating, not exfoliating, but that rough bit to, you know, scrape off any food that's stuck on. And then the other side is just a sponge. Much cheaper than Dollar Tree where I was buying like a two pack for $1.25. I got 10 for $1.79. And this product here, I am super excited. I love to cook. I love garlic. I hate chopping up garlic. So this here is a stainless steel garlic press. It's $2.89. You literally will put your garlic and then you just kind of roll it back and forth. In theory, that's how it should work. And it looks like it's easier to clean. So I'm gonna give that a try and fingers crossed, it is my new holy grail for dealing with garlic. If any of you have been following me, when I did my Shop Miss A haul, I got a little garlic tool as well. Did not like it. It was kind of like a little mini cheese grater. Um, it dealt with the garlic, but it didn't dice it up into little small chunks. It like shredded it, so it became like a paste. So if you like a paste, that, but it was a lot of back and forth. I just use my microplaner if I want it like that. So it was only a dollar, I don't mind. But this bad boy looks like it's gonna be good. So the first makeup related product I picked up was a three pack of makeup or powder puff 
little triangle sponges, not sponges, I don't know what you call these. Um, they're spongy. These are pretty thick and they're very soft. It feels like microfiber, very soft, almost like velvety microfiber. It has a little place to put your finger. I see Yachty G use this all the time for a little powder and pressing under the eye. Do I powder? No, but I've been thinking maybe I should give it a try to avoid creasing. I don't know. It was a dollar seven. Why not? I then started thinking, you know, this stuff's so affordable. Why don't you just pick up one of everything to do a full face of makeup? And I almost got everything. So leave me a comment and let me know if you'd love to see a Timu makeup haul full face try on. This here is cool black. Can't read who the Yan Queen. I'm going to butcher it. It's a liquid eyeliner and it was $1.34. So it comes with plastic all down it. I'm going to leave it like so, but come back to watch that full face of makeup video. I'll swatch it and give it a try. They also had this eyeliner, which is a gel eyeliner for my waterline. All right, so this here is from a brand called Davis or Davis. I swear I already own this. Had I known that was the brand, I would have bought it. I want to say I got it in the Busy Beauty haul I did. Um, but yes, we will give this a try. And by the way, it was only 71 cents. They actually had this product, which I was excited about because normally on these sites, they don't. And it's because it is a waterproof mascara. And this is from a brand called T Yason. T I don't know. And it cost $1.52. Then got this product here, which was $1.79. It's from Handayen, and it's a blusher stick. I must say, the picture made it look a lot bigger, but it was only $1.79, so I'm not mad at that. But just be aware that some of the photos, pretty like with the handbags, make the items look bigger than they are. Holy cow! All right, so that is way darker than I thought. The photos to pick the color, but since it's a cream blush, my experience with cream blushes is that they blend out. And so I used to be really scared. I'm not that scared at how dark that is. Let's just go like this, that it will blend out. I then saw this lip duo. It was $1.79 from Lang Money, and it's a lip contour kit. It comes with a liquid lipstick and a lip liner. Ooh, I think I got a good shade match. Yes, that looks right up my alley. I won't try that yet. All right, this next product I do want to give a try. This is a lip glaze, and it was a whopping $2.24. Yes, I splurged. Ooh, look how fancy the packaging is. It is just one lip gloss. But wow, for, for $2.24, that is quite the packaging. All right, so this is acrylic. It's a little smaller, the size. Well, it's about on par with like an Ofra. Uh, you know how I love lip glosses. I'm going to try this right now. Oh, it surprised me because it comes from China. I automatically assumed it would smell horrible. It has a sweet scent. Kind of sweet, fruity, but I can't name the fruit. Let's do a swatch. Ooh, it is much darker than and more opaque than I was anticipating. But we're still going to throw it on my face. very comfortable apologize for my application I usually don't go this dark on lip gloss so I would say this is probably best if you actually do use a lip liner first but it's very comfortable I am excited to give the next product a try so this here is actually a two-pack which costs two dollars and sixty cents and as you know I love a BB cream 
I'm wearing a BB cream today. This is a BB cream from Lacou. And I got, you were able to get the two pack and pick two different shades. I'm like, why not? Because usually I'm like, I don't know what shade. So I got 110 Ivory, which looks to be way too light. And then the other shade I got was 240 Natural. So um, hopefully between those two, one of them will work or I can mix them together. All right, almost done, hang in there. So this product here is going to be, yes, a highlighter. It was well protected in the bubble wrap packaging. This is from a brand called Movo, uh, which is Natural Beauty Highlighter. Oh, it's also protected inside the box. Love that. And what made me pick this up, this is totally giving me Ofra vibes. Here's my Ofra, and here's the one from Timu. Uh, very similar, and I'll be curious to do a side-by-side -side comparison. The last two items are also kind of dupish, meaning they look like another product and another brand. Until I try them, I'm not going to call them a dupe, but they are, we'll say, copycat-ish. So this here is the Glam Palette. And it was a whopping $6.29. That was the second most expensive thing I picked up. Um, leave me a comment. What kind of vibes is it giving you? Oh, no. I don't know if it'll pick up with my bright lights, but there is something exploded. Look, there's... Let me do a swatch. Whatever shadow that is exploded in transit it does have plastic oh just a little kind of peel off oh i'm scared always why is it always a shimmer shade okay so that's the palette tell me what kind of vibes it's giving you all right so if you didn't figure it out by now um it's totally giving <laughs> Natasha Denona Retro Palette vibes. Not only is the outer packaging the same, but I'm trying not to make a bigger mess, but look at the color stories. Yes. So I will at some point do a side-by-side -side comparison in a video where like one side will be Natasha Denona, the other side will be whatever brand this Ting Fei. Um, and let me know if you're curious to see that. The last item is also a palette. It did come in bubble wrap. The other one did not. And this here was also giving me uh, major dupe vibes. This is from Aromas and it's the Yukonabi palette or Yukonabi Aromas. I don't know. I don't know which is the name of the palette, which is the brand name. It does come with plastic wrap all around. Let's take that off. That was way harder than I thought. All right, let's take the sleeve off. Yes, the palette looks the same as the sleeve. And I'm going to hold it up. What kind of vibes is this giving you? Oh, I thought it was very close to the Huda Rose Quartz palette. But it's been a while since I used it, and not so much. These are leaning more cool-toned, and these are more warm-toned. This is still giving me vibes of a palette. Maybe a Ciate London palette? I don't know. Leave me a comment if you know what palette this looks like. Maybe it was just the little, what do you call those, like polka dots in these certain shades were giving me Huda vibes. I don't know. It's still beautiful, and I'm still going to give it a try. And yes, Amber, I finally pulled the trigger. I knew like two months ago you told me about this. I don't like shopping on my phone, but I got sucked in. All right, so that was everything in my haul. I know that was a lot. This is probably a long video, but I did have 17 items. All right, so I'm going to list everything I got with the prices. Again, I got a $25 discount code. I spent about $53, take off $25, and then there was free shipping, and then tax. So grand total out of my pocket was like 
$30 and $31. It was fairly cheap. A lot of these items are fairly cheap. The purses were my biggest disappointment. I don't know why the picture made them like look not so bad. I don't know. They claim to have a return policy. I may, don't call me, I get lazy. I may try to return them. Some of this makeup looks promising, not all of it. But let me know if you've done a Timu haul, if you liked what I picked up, and if you'd be curious in seeing a Timu makeup video and then a dupe video for the ND palette dupe or knockoff, whatever you want to call it. All right, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos and for my community posts. And if you could do me a huge favor, if you could click that thumbs up, it really does help my channel to grow. And Lynn, uh, thank you so much again for the retro palette from Natasha Denona because now I have the palette to do the dupe video and I'm wearing it on my eyes and it is gorgeous. I love it. All right. Thanks, everyone.